Hi, it's Holly McKean here, and I'm just making these little um, wine goblets, these little wine cups for my daughter's wedding. And uh, they're one piece, quick little easy trim on the bottom. She wants them all a little bit different, although they're all gonna be in the gold color. That's her wedding color. So I started out, I was gonna make her 130, and then COVID hit. And now the wedding's down to maybe 30. So I'm gonna make her 50, just in case. So center it up, sink the center. I'm not, uh, normally I would go down deeper, but because they've got this little stem, I'm probably, just to give you an idea, dropping it here at that much. over a half inch, I guess it is. Now the first thing in throwing these is to just go up, get the height that I want. It's uh, 300 grams of clay, more or less. I, I'm making them all a bit different, so I weighed them out between 250 and 310. So first we just go up and then that bottom in. I've got to get this width on the bottom, more or less, because I'm not going to trim all of that away. I'm just doing the little scoop on the trim. So I push that in and then push in above it for the little stem. And then we start the shaping movement. And I'm really pushing from the inside here to get that little kind of roundy movement there. I'll go up a little bigger. Some I'm making come in, some are coming in and back out. I think I'll tighten this little waist in a bit more. I like them to have kind of a girly shape to them. Here I'm just kind of uh, thinning it out just one last little bit. Okay, that's okay. I might like this bottom part right here. This is where the mirror is so great. To have this be a little bit more rounded. So I'll go back in and kind of push down on that. There we go, that rounded it up a bit. Now that feels a little too big, so I'll just push it in. Okay, there we go, that's better. Push that in a bit more. Now we'll fuss with the bottom a bit. Take this water out. If you leave the water in there too, too long, you know, it can weaken with that stem and want to torque around on you under there. So it's always good to dry it up as you go, as you're getting ready to be finished. There. I use a rib a lot because, you know, you've got these nice rounded corners. You see this one, I've got a sharper corner and a rounder corner for different purposes. And then I always bevel off my top edge like that. So, now have you got one of these? I love these little tools. That's how I'll make that bottom put and tuck it in to size because it was a little bigger than I wanted it. And then this makes the shadow line for your waxing. And because this is such a runny glaze I'm using, I kind of take a little, just a little bit of a divot there so that the glaze can lie in it. It has somewhere to Oops, pushed it back down. There we go. So, that's good. Chamois and just chamois that top edge. And there's a cute little wine cup. Now I'll show you how I trim them up.
My um, bat system, you might find interesting, is a little different. Got the idea from another local potter. And my husband made all the bats for me. So there's two pins there. And then you can have smaller bats. So we have all different sizes, you see, but they're only, they're drilled like that. So it's really easy to put them on because you just have to find center and drop it in instead of trying to line the two sides up. See, there was my original holes. So, let's trim this guy. Just popped one in here. They're pretty, um, still pretty damp. I'm not gonna get real tricky on them, except this is a nice shape here for it. Just make that round. So leave a little bit of weight in the bottom so that they can sit comfortably and not be too tippy. They're only gonna be about, well, dried and glazed. This one here is 200 grams finished. That's good enough right there, done. Quick. A little swirl in the bottom. Um, if I wanted to take that neck in, you can see the neck is a little bit thick here. Got this tiny, tiny little tool that I would use for that. Some of these I've been giving a little um, swirl down on the underside like that. Just something for the glaze to do. That one doesn't have it. Nope. Okay. So because they're still quite damp, you know, you can put them out around. So I just make sure that they're back in round. And then I've made a little stamp for it. I'll show you. I made a stamp and then I turned them into little buttons. They say J and N for Jamie and Nick. So I look for the best side. Some of them are going up in the middle. Some of them are on the edge here. This one I'll just put here on the edge. A little bit of slip. on the button. And then pop it on there. Put support inside and press in. There we go. Easy peasy. Kind of cute. So the glaze will just run over that. And it'll be very subtle, not uh, you know, not a great big main thing. So people will want to use them after. Then I put another little divot in the back so that when you pick them up, they're super comfy to hold on to. Make sure it goes back and round. And then the last thing I do on them is just to go with, I like a little lift. On each side. And that's what you live up with. These ones are a little bigger than the small ones. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. That's Holly McKee.